This is Kyle Rittenhouse. He's having a really hard time right now. In the midst of the Black Lives Matter summer of protests sparked by the murder of George Floyd, then 17-year-old Rittenhouse fatally shot two men and wounded another during a protest against the police shooting of Jacob Blake in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Since then, Rittenhouse was charged with several counts of homicide. He pleaded not guilty in self-defense and he eventually was acquitted of all charges. And then, he decided to put it all behind him. Kyle Rittenhouse. Kyle Rittenhouse. Kyle Rittenhouse. Kyle Rittenhouse. Actually, Kyle Rittenhouse did the opposite. Well, we're going to make the media pay for what they did to me. Normal people don't walk into a social justice protest to shoot people. They made it hard for me to live a normal life. I can't go yeah. out into public. I can't go to the store. It's hard for me to go anywhere without security. Normal, reasonable people don't see a spike in mass shootings around this country and then go to social media to taunt their rabid gun-loving followers and the president. Joe Biden, you're not coming for our guns. A majority of Americans want to see some action taken against access to guns. Rittenhouse has not only appeared on his own behalf on the news, he's been invited to speak as a sort of celebrity guest for right-wing causes. And what's worse, he's not using Johnny Depp's legal victory against Amber Heard to wage his own defamation battle against tech and media giants. Kyle Rittenhouse is a perfect example of how white people are emboldened by a criminal justice system that lets them get away with murder.